started in three, two, one, go. Match 31, off to a start. Five out of six robots moving. We've got three cubes scored on the red side, two cones on the blue. 292 up on that bridge and balance, so that gives Blue the Alliance the lead, leading into Teleop. As drivers step towards to take control of their robots, most of them go to the opposite loading stations. Meanwhile, 3559, 1646, and 7457 clog the middle of the field, trying to get the eight preloads and get those scored as quickly as they can because that is going to become a very dangerous place as this game goes along. So far, the blue side is leading the charge of scored objects five to almost four. Quick reminder that any three objects in a straight line, horizontal line, score as a link. And if teams get five, three in a row, that is a link, and if teams get five links, that is an extra sustainability bonus, giving them an extra ranking point for the match. Blue Alliance focusing on putting cones up on the high five-point post. Every object that's scored up high is worth five points, whether it is a cone or a cube. Sixteen forty-six with their desk lamp of a robot picking up that purple cube, taking it across the field. Two ninety-two showing that even with four wheels and a standard tank drive, they can be as fast as anybody as they scream across the field. As we enter the end game. Robots and teams are now focusing on placing those last game pieces before they start the climb up onto their charge stations. Blue has a pretty comfortable lead so far, but with a possible triple climb in the balance, it could swing as much as 30 points. Red Alliance looks like they're happy just to get two on. Same with Blue Alliance, so I think the match is going to settle where it was. We'll see what the referees have to say, but it looks like a comfortable win for the Blue Alliance. Scores are up. Let's see what happens. Zoom, zoom. Blue Alliance, big winners. Climbing up to the third spot so far, Super Duper Robotics. Jasper is fifth, and 292 comes up to seventh. 